Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio. And this is our Let's Learn series. And what's happening today? Well, I'm uh, starting to get a little bit sick, unfortunately. So I got the sniffles and all that wonderful coughing stuff. And other than that, we're doing some factorials and we're going to increase our, you know, a uh, green circuit production here. How exactly we're going to do that, I don't know, but we're going to give it a shot anyways. So I have this thing, you know, in operation, in essence, and it looks like it's doing the trick. I'm processing all the yellow belts back into you know, their raw materials. Uh, let's go up here. I do have... I need some more drills. Oh, no, I know. Actually, I think I'm okay with the, with the drills. So here I start to set up kind of an area to mine as well as from this deposit up here and we're going to combine these two and we're going to make the plates and then we're going to make the circuits over here then I think we'll just attach it to the logistics system so for example what we'll do is we'll probably just put these robo ports into play uh, probably somewhere like here maybe let's take a look probably like this like that and then maybe one more up here, I think. We'll have them connected. Like so. And all the magic will happen inside of there. So let's get these guys hooked up. Okay, uh, we'll put this one here. And we'll put this bad boy up here. Uh, let's keep going up this way. Bang, and right here. Perfect. Okay, let's put this in play. That one. That one. That uh, that one. Oops. And then of course this one. Excellent. Okay, so what we need to do then is bring these bad boys up. Hmm. And we don't need to do much. Maybe we just need to bring it up and then we'll place something like this maybe. Maybe we'll create four more. So we need more bricks, looks like. Crap. I need more bricks. This is, happens to me all the time. Now you think you got materials, but you don't. Let's run down here. Let's grab some bricks. Um, hopefully they're not all being consumed, and they are, unfortunately. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> uh, let's fill this up. So that way they stop being produced. I think that will do it. Uh, no, they're still loading. Come on, dudes. The bricks. Anyways, so we'll... I'll use the two... I'll use two of these furnaces here. See here, so we'll do it like this. Maybe we don't need this long of a belt. Maybe, let's see here. <clears throat> now, we will have to put it at least like this. So that means the belt has to go one more. I think the four will be fine. If we need to do more, we can always extend this up, I guess. And I want the output to actually be on the outside. Okay, then we need to merge them in. I guess we could always move this stuff, right? Let's see here. Let's do that, and then do that. So that's merged, all right? Uh, do something similar with this down here. Maybe we'll bring it down. Let's let's take out these trees like so. Don't we, we don't need those trees. Um, okay, let's throw that wood in there. We'll kind of have the same idea here. Let's see. Bring it down a bit. And we'll put two furnaces. We'll put one here one here okay so the second one can go right over here right 
and we'll do the fast inserters because that's what we're going to be using now all right and then we will come out from the sides here probably just come straight right beside it or did i leave a space i left the space of course i left the space so we'll do this Okay, and then we'll do the same for the other side here. Okay. And let's bring this down this way. Okay, so we got each of those. So let's hook this all up, power it up, and get it going. So we need one of these guys. Will this be able to power it all? Oh, maybe, maybe. One right here in the middle. That should do all of them. And then this one should do right here. Right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and let's fasten inserters. Okay, perfect. Just like that, I think. All right. <clears throat> we'll have to, this is not a good spot. We will have to move this up. I think that's what we'll do. So what we'll do is we'll run down. We'll check those bricks. Auto save. Very inconvenient. And I'm getting a little bit of lag on my machine today. So you might see some stuttering happening. I apologize for that. Okay, so. How's the heavy oil doing? Yeah, we need to create more You cracking. Um, but that's okay. So what we'll do basically here, I think we can do this. I think we can do that. Yeah, we, we, sh we certainly can. So what we're going to do is we're going to put two requester chests, essentially one here, one here. We're going to put this like that. We're going to put two fast inserters. And voila, what this requested chest is going to request is green circuits, right? As well as this one, it's going to request, whoa, 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 you know what? Bad idea. Look at that. You know what's going to happen with that? Yeah. <clears throat> Shoot. I don't know if that idea is going to work now. Because we got this passive provider. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to think about that one, actually. Well, what we might have to do is change up the way this stuff is. <coughs> we might have to make the requester smaller. Hmm. Interesting. If I put this in here like that, and I put this in here like that, then that's the ex exact desired effect. We got it doubled up. There'll be more circuits that will flow down the way here. And looks like research will move again. So that is the right answer. We just need to figure out how to get it down there. We could belt it down. So, anyways, so let us let's change this over. Let's see. It's uh, okay. No, we do want to use that because that's that's so much better. These things that sucks. Okay, <clears throat> let's do something up here. Probably put power right here in between, like that. Uh, how about this stuff here? Let's do that. And... Do that. With maybe... Let's see... One like that, and one like that to connect them. Okay. Now let's just hook in the power and see what happens. Uh, what's the best way to do that? Like this? Like this? 
Probably like that. And then we'll do the lights. Like this. Put a light here. Let's put some lights here. And here. That's all mining. It's all processing. Beautiful. Want that like that. Want that like that. Excuse me, I'm going to mute it up here for a second. Okay, perfect. So this is good. And now let's do the copper. I think we just tie it in like that. Simple as that. Put some lights in place here. Let's build some more. 5, 10, 15, 20. Good, good, good. Okay. So now we need to build our stuff. So what are we going to build? So let's place this to see how we need to build it. Okay. Green circuits. Iron plate and copper plate. Okay. That's easy. So the iron plate will take directly as it is. Okay, and these we have to turn it into, so maybe let's turn it into, like this. I'm just thinking how I want to do this. Do I want to do each side or does it matter? Uh, so we do that and that. What happens if we double them up, do four? I, we probably don't need that much, we probably just need one of each. Because I think the production won't be too outstanding. Okay, uh, let's do that and that. And let's actually load it here. Okay, and let's twist around, bring it this way. Uh, we need more of these bad boys. <clears throat> Where's the... There we go. Need more of those bad boys. Uh, we need a couple hundred of these. That's what I seem to go through. Um, what else do we need? What else do we need? I don't think we need anything else. Um, That logistic thing sh should work, but that storage chest will have to we'll have to work way around that, so that way we can request it and have it in the system. Interesting. Maybe we'll make that one. No, we can't make it a requester. It has to be a passive provider because otherwise it won't work like a requester. So anything else other than a passive, you could have as a regular logistics. Maybe that would work. Long-term storage for the logistics system. So maybe we'll try build one of those for the circuits to be held. And then that way the requester can still request. It'll still get delivered Ah, that's not right. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure that out. We'll figure it out. No, no big deal. No big deal. Passive provider is correct. I wish you could control this. I wish you could have it specify if you just want players. So they need a, a, another box that's just for players. That's not for the logistics system itself. That would help a lot. Okay, so it looks like we got our belts um, so now we would need a spot here Let's see here so we just do like this one two like that bring this down like so Okay, bang, and bring it across like this, and we, we just do it like this. Uh, we actually want, no, we want this. No, oh. want that to be one lower, right? We want this to be up close 
to use the quick inserters and then the plates can use the well these are going to be circuits right so i think we need both to be equally okay let's think about this for a second so we need these and then we need these fed into this uh, we need more cables than plates so plates could take long hand inserters okay so my thinking was correct okay okay that, that's i th think exactly how i want let's throw those in, into there throw those into there and then we do the quick inserters and we do the long armed inserters something like that then these we'll just put into active providers or passive providers or just right into the storage system so if we do what this and maybe not cap the storage and maybe do this okay and then what we can do is uh, let's see here let's power this and we'll go from there so we can provide power to everything like this uh, let's just hook this up let's see one two okay power is hooked up uh, let's do this just out of logistic range of course so what do we do about these guys do we move these maybe we'll do that we'll move these bad boys and then we will put this robo port right here put more right here so that way it is in logistic range do that put a light okay so now 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 these should fill up with circuits okay I'm gonna be curious to see if these guys get picked up or not um, let's run down here to our system we definitely need circuits why is these not oh, it's because of the iron iron is being funneled down to here this is all being consumed of course of course uh, let's see here so then this iron crazy and it doesn't matter how fast we're going through with the iron and stone coming in there okay no worries if you notice I took out the belt that went towards this place here um, or is it towards this place here this is this belt's now gone right here so this is where we'll request we'll have to fix this guy <clears throat> somehow we'll change this one not sure how but we'll change it and then we'll put this as requesting circuits and we'll put this one as requesting circuits as well so what so these can do 200 so two four six eight thousand maybe we'll make them oh no just 200 to stack that's all we'll see what happens right and then we'll throw these in here we'll throw these in here okay now that sh should hopefully keep it going somewhat smooth we'll see what happens let's replace these guys ok 
Okay, and we can bring those a little bit faster. Okay, perfect. We're just upgrading the belt here. Okay, and then let's put this in place like that. Where is that coming from? Well, I don't see it, that's okay. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Where were we? Oh yeah, we were placing the belt. Do that. Place this belt. Place these guys with fast ones. And one, two, three. One, two, three, four. There we go. Hopefully that will be s somewhat okay. It's a good start. Let's see here. <clears throat> I think with the stuff in the system. So, so let's let's try this out. Let's put 200 of my stuff into here. And this stuff. Let's see if they bring me anything. Because so I have it being requested, right? And I don't have them in a, requ in a requester chest, but I should have them in the logistics system. So, for example, oh, auto save up here. Um, let's see, how are these going? Nine and nine, yeah, as quickly as they. So we might have to do something here with the belt. Okay. So we definitely need more copper. And then the iron we're okay with, I think. They always take from the one side, right? Which is just kind of interesting. Not sure if there's a way of balancing this. Um, let's see if we did. No, we can't do that because that will put it onto that belt. Um, basically, have to increase copper production. So let's take this one out. We want just a simple. Power. Maybe we can put this guy, bad boy, like this. And then we'll just have to hook this up. Like that. Okay, then we need to make two more of these bad boys. Let's go get some more uh, uh, bricks. Let's see here. So that influx of green circuits is definitely helping. It helped for a little bit. But we still need more materials. So, yeah. So, let's see here. Ah, oh, look at that. Lots of bricks. So, let's build, what, four more of those guys? Uh, one, two, three, four. Something like that. Since we're in the recycling spot here, we just throw those and those in there and those. Um, we got extra one of those. Tons of logistic robots on us. I think we're supposed to release those in the other spots. I'm not sure. Let's just throw them all out. 452. Well, maybe I picked something up that had them. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> okay, so we got those made. Um, let's keep those bricks on us in case we want to do more. Because definitely the iron is being used up here. That's really crazy, actually. Just how much is is making it down. How much is on here? <clears throat> oh, lots of steel. We are building up steel. Eh, well, this is probably producing... I would need to make another column, basically. I would need to make two columns of this stuff. Of processing to make it more uh, more throughput or whatever you want to call it um, oh I am getting some so they are coming through so I have to increase production basically so if we add a couple of these bad boys 
And then we can do th this and this. Okay, and that and that. Then we can bring up that thing. That thing, okay. And now that's a little bit more abundant. So the reality is we probably want to change this. We probably want to make it into a belt. Um, let's place the belt here. Let's, let's create one of these. I want to put a belt right here. And we want to do this. Okay. And this is where we want to place all of them. Like so. Alright. Then essentially what we're doing is we're going to do these. This is, oh, wrong way. Just doing the exact same thing, except, um, yeah, except it's it's now we've now expanded it. I don't think we'll need more than these, but I think this will be enough. So just one moment. Okay, we're back. So let's uh, shift left, control left click. Oh no, shift. Right click, left click. Uh, there we go. Okay, perfect. Um, well, what happens if we bring this all the way down? Okay, let's do this now. We want. We need AC one of these in each, and then we need power. Um, what kind of power? Let's see here, maybe like this. Something like that. Ah, no, that won't be enough. I'm going to sneeze here again. I apologize for that. Man, flu season sucks. Um, now we're going to just do the small power here probably. Um, yeah, we'll just do what we did before. That's fine. And we'll just do... Like this. So we have them all covered. Bang. Okay, that should do it. If we pick this up, pick this and this. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do this. There we go, perfect. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we want half of it to go on the other side. I didn't even think about that. So how are we going to do that, right? Well, one of two ways. <coughs> Excuse me. We can, br we can bring the belt this way. Bring it around like that. Okay. And maybe it's just a matter of doing it like this. Bang. Look at that. Like a boss. Like a boss. So now what we need to do is we need to increase um, production of these guys. So let's see here. We put another set like that. Um... Only problem is, see how we have this unloading here? 
can't do that. We need to bring them in from each side, I think. So, oops, just like this. Um, I think like this, like that, all right? And we'll do the same going up this way, that way. Okay, to take those out. And then we need to do them like this, like this, and like this. Um, need to change that, that. Power like that. Okay, and oops. No. Right click, left click. There we go. Okay. So now we should have more copper. Copper wire coming down. Let's, let's see how far it goes down here. It's only reaching to this one. Oh, and this one. So we would need one more. So let's see, we would need, I think, a third one. Like that, like that, like that, like that. Okay, and then this, like that. Okay, and then um, control, oops. Okay, I think that will do it. Uh, now we just need to increase production, of course. How do we do that, right? This is all so tight together now. We, we need a little bit more room. Uh, my friends, my friends, my friends. How do we do this? What's the best way of doing this? Hmm. We can move this whole assembly over. Um, best way would probably be to use robots. Make a blueprint here. So if we do something like this, this copies it. Okay. So now let's dismantle this. Yeah, let's dismantle this. Okay. Come on, come on. Only my robots. Don't let anybody else take it. Ah! They're stealing my stuff. Okay, that's okay. So we'll do that. Now what we'll do is we shall use the blueprint. We can actually do this. We can actually change the orientation because we know we're just going to produce this stuff, right? Do that. Okay, that means this will allow us to move this all up by one. So let's cut it off here and there. Okay, good, good, good. Want another one, two. I'm gonna take this out. Okay, we're going to put this like so. Put some ore. Okay. Um, so one, two, three. One, two, three. This is the top. Okay. Can do that. Do that. That. Actually, just like that would probably be fine. 
And then if we need to expand this, we can. We'll go up. And feed it right in. Okay. So let's uh, put 100 in there. Let's put 100 in there. Let's put some wire in there. Okay, perfect. Let's wire this up and let's get it going again. Um, that's a shame. It's a shame I can't power these last two here like <clears throat> that. So we can fit one more set of these guys if we need more. Uh, how about this? Don't really care anymore about the power. Okay, okay. Uh, this, this, that. Okay, now we'll see what happens. <clears throat> it should hopefully feed it all the way down. Let's just watch this for a moment. <clears throat> we'll see if we need more smelting. What we, sh what we should do maybe is build a bouncer here somewhere. Like that and like that for now, maybe. Okay, so that way both sides are operating. And so what I was going to do up here was I was going to build a couple more of these. Maybe. Well, maybe we... Uh, yeah, we should. <clears throat> but now you can see that there's now starting to be... Well, maybe not a surplus yet, but... We're definitely helping with production, that's for sure. And no, they did bring me my 200, so this is going to work. I have to place some turrets around here, maybe. Just like maybe one, two, three, uh, something like that. This should work quite nicely, actually. Okay, so looks like. Okay, so looks like we got the right amount of everything. Let's just wash this a little bit more. And yeah, we need more steel processing. That's for sure. Yeah, I know it's, that's disconnected. That's fine. Do that. Do that. No, oh, sorry. In the middle. Like that. Oh, I need more blue guys? Really? That's crazy. Blue guys. Okay, rocket silo research is slowly moving now, which is nice. Yeah, this is working the double lane way. Huh, maybe we just want on the one lane. Because these guys won't produce. So we actually want to put a regular box. Um, where are we? want a steel box. We want to put that actually right here. And then we want to put a fast inserter like that. And then what we want to do is we want to take this out. Right? And then let's replace that. Like so. I think that's how we'll do it. Because they should all still continue to operate, but what's going on now? Why aren't these operating? I think they're just out of the steel. Yeah, we're out of the steel. Okay, so time to produce more. Not a problem. And then we do this. Probably build one more set of two, probably. Uh, let's see here. One, two. Yeah, put another set in here. And I think that will be enough. 
Let's see here. Put that one there. I'm not even watching the time in this episode. I just want to set all this up and get this up and running. Um, like that. Like that. Like that. And we need to put power here. And we need to put more belts. Okay, those guys are taken care of. And. Okay. Yeah, that's a problem with that belt there. Because it's going to produce and eventually it's going to stop until it can drag this stuff in. Huh. We're going to have to change this, I think. I'm going to bring this up like this and then so like this like this maybe do it like this that way there's two of them going at it offloading into the central one which then offloads it into here which then goes into the logistic system why even bother with that and just put it directly into the logistics system like that and now we need the iron the iron so what we could do is start to set up another Let's see, let's do, let's do, where's the drillers? These guys, let's throw those out. So now what we can do is we can actually start placing these guys. Let's take a look at this. So it looks like there is iron making it down here. They're not all producing though. Uh, because probably you need more copper. Interesting. So more copper is what we need. It's not enough copper being smelted. So a couple more of these. We're going to need more bricks. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Just trying to find the right kind of ratio of materials. So, if we put this one like this, like this, let's do that. Let's. Gotta use kind of the regular power. Or like these kind of power, because. All well, we need to connect, right? Like that, maybe. And then maybe like that, and then like that. Then we can bring this up like so. There we go. Okay, we've added more copper. That means more of this stuff. Sh sh should be able to be produced, which means more wire, which means more circuits, which means they go into the system. Oh, cool, they did bring me more of those, which is good. Throw the logistic robot back into the wild. So this looks like it's operating now, so there we go. So that, yeah, so that's it. So we kind of got this little circuit facility operating. Um, not not operating as good as it should because as you can tell the copper wire it kind of makes it all the way down to here but not so one two three four five six almost the seven right it would need more copper 
And we did kind of add more, but it's still... It's kind of doing it, kind of not. So it's about half capacity. The steel looks like it's okay. And so basically what this is happening is this is being dumped into the system, which then it's being carried over down into the rest of the system here. Right here into these. Because it doesn't keep 200 very long, it gets pretty much dumped into there. And here we're just waiting for, for iron, but as you can see, the iron is being consumed here by these things. Because that's these belts, right? Uh, maybe we don't need the two on them anymore. Uh, that's still kind of yoink. Huh, interesting. What about here? What's... Oh, because this takes from up here. I see. I understand. So there's just not nearly enough. And then there's stuff down here being used. Where is this? You mean this stuff up here? Yeah, I guess so. Interesting. Let's not call those. Oh, this looks like this is working. Well, it's the best we can do with the materials we have coming through on our end here. Which I don't know why it's also slow. Do we need to upgrade these things? So if we upgrade all of these bad boys, you think that will improve how much we're producing? Let's try this. I don't think it will, but you never know. Do that. Let's change all of these up here. Not sure if this will do it. Let's see what happens. Okay, um, we're doing a bunch of upgrades. Yeah, I don't see no benefit yet. Uh, still being taken by the steel. By the time it gets through the steel, there's scraps left over. And then the rest of the system is using it still. That's right, yeah, so basically as soon as this stops having to produce, then it'll be fine. So let's put that in there. Put that in there, like that. Put this guy like that. Okay, cool. Let's throw this stuff into recycling here. Put those ones in there. Then we can run into here. I think we can grab all of these gears. Th throw that into the recycling system. There's tons of iron here. Oh, what's this? take that one which we're out of which is actually interesting we can take that one oh, that's that's the stone with this one we can take that we can take the steel ah, uh, no uh, we can take those guys let's take all those and then we can throw these all this stuff into here um, we can throw that and that what else do we want to throw on there these things yes yeah, so this is amazing this this reverse factory thing so you can use the resources um, What happens if you create requester chests? Do this. Maybe like this and like this. Maybe request some plates. A stack of iron plates. Maybe here, stack iron plates. 
And I will add them onto the system. Which then will take them from the logistics system. Maybe bad idea because then eventually it'll take it from the other side there. Yeah, okay. I was thinking of maybe a way of injecting it back into the system. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens for a little while here, right? You know, because we do want it to kind of dump our resources into there. That will allow more more stuff to come through, right? So, oh, good, look at that. These will now go into here, which will be dedicated to this guy, which means the research. So, yeah, so thank you, everybody, for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this kind of episode, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.